Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so glad it, uh, the second part didn't record a lot because uh, I was recording with just my tablet. My SD card was not in here, so it recorded a full on hour and 18 minutes, my tablet. So, okay, so shall we continue where we were left off? Uh, but before I do, I, I was trying to say that I am very tempted about opening this today. Um, uh, and I might let a dragon's blood incense while we open this. Uh, this is Believing Your Own Magic. Oracle deck, Amanda Lovelace, artwork by J Janaina Medeiros. So sorry I butchered that. I want to read this again because I read it <laughs> already <laughs> once, but that that little clip it's not gonna. Mm. Two-time Goodreads Choice Award winning poet and USA Today best-selling author Amanda Lovelace presents Believe in Your Own Magic, a stunning new Oracle deck based on her celebrated poetry series. Women are some kind of magic. You better fucking believe it. Mm. With art by fairy tale illustrator, illustrator, pardon, uh, Janaina Medeiros. Again, oh, Medeiros? Medeiros? Is that in Spanish? I'm not sure. <laughs> Ayúdame. Help. Each card offers daily messages of empowerment to stir your inner princess, witch, or mermaid, while the highly accessible guidebook offers further insight whenever you're in need of some inspiration or validation. This deck will be there to help you believe in your own magic. Uh, perfect for beginners and suitable for practitioners at every skill level. I've seen so many cards. Like when I see other people doing readings and stuff on TikTok, on YouTube, I'm like, those are so pretty. I want them. <laughs> Uh, but this was the only one that I found at Barnes and Nobles, and it kept falling like this. It's like, buy me, buy me, get me, take me home, my. So I, I bought this for myself, so I'm very, I'm very happy with it. Um, now, back to the rooms I was talking about. I was like, I don't care. Let my mom take my grandpa's old room. Uh. It was my grandpa's, then it was my sister's, then it was Tony's, and then it was, I don't know who else it was, because my brother left, I think it was just available, I think my, did Sissy take the room again? And then, Tony took it again, I don't know, I don't know what, what happened there. Then now the one who has the room right now is my my eldest uh, daughter my <laughs> my eldest niece uh, Bella, um, and so when they move out either this year or next year, I know I, I you guys are probably have like okay girl, I've been following you for years and you guys or at least you Gabby me moi, uh, you've been repeating yourself over and over and over. Stop sounding like a broken fucking record. For goodness sake. With that I say, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, mm, I can't help it. This is going to happen. I, I know. It's sad. It's sad. Um, I'm trying to keep my house, okay? Jesus. Well, everybody's still here. I want them to money in the fucking house so I don't have to at least as much uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, give me a second I'm trying to fix my shorts I have shorts on here it's just like it's rolling up since I'm sitting down ah oh that's comfortable oh oh that's better ah because my my uh skin was sticking to the chair which again uh not which again which by the way this chair it's falling flat on me because it's kind of like this it's not properly like lifting me up like it should i'm sad i want a new chair <laughs> um so right now 
let me do not want to lose this. <clears throat> Where is it? Excuse me. You know, I have so much space, guys. I would have so much space for all my crystals, for all my, like, my candles. I mean, good God, I would have a second room for everything and I'd be so happy. Ah, uh, that's what's my dream. Like, I just want two rooms. I just want two rooms. I just need two rooms to hold everything. Of course, I'm going to probably go through a lot of stuff. Like, okay, take it as in. Like you're moving into a new home and you need to get rid of a lot of this crap. Do it now. <laughs> so I have this little thingy and I'm going to put one of the little dragon's blood and cook it up in there and let it. So you're going to see some smoky smoke. We're going to open this. But for a moment, give me a momento. I'm going to pause. And we're back. I had to refresh if I'm going to survive this next hour or whatever, for goodness sake. So, <laughs> we got to do what we got to do, right? Right. Okay. This is very handy that I found this little jar and stuff and I just put the little dragon's blood uh, incense in there. I drew a little dragon. <laughs> Not the greatest, but it's okay. Um, candles. I don't have my shorter ones. I don't know where my small ones are. Like I, can, like I said, they're spread out everywhere, so I have these long ones. I'm trying to save most of the sticks. I don't know what I did with the other one that I turned on yesterday. Pull that off for a second. Turn it off too soon, did it? Put that down. And then we can turn on the candle. Uh, I have a lot of candles. I don't know where to go. Do I have anything next to me? Mm. <laughs> one of my smaller ones. Yeah, I have this. I have to go for my lavender. This is a lemon and lavender. I love the scents. I'm gonna save the sticks. Because I can reuse it again. If I lit up a candle with a smaller one. I know I'm wasting these, but. Ooh. Lighting that up. Now 
that I have one candle lit. I can lit more if I wanted to. I'm just going to put a little... Make sure that's turned off. smudge and this like smudging stuff I can always use it for my art I'm an artist too if you didn't know that I like to draw I actually I'll show you something I drew yesterday that gave me the idea when I uh, did one of the the dragon blood incense Sadda. I'm not done with it because it's just old pencil. It's all messy and stuff. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna go about it. Uh, but it's you. It, it's like eyes looking at you, but it's like the tree of life. Uh, and then the branches almost look it gonna be like smoke or something coming out of the it's coming out of the dragon. It's blood. So that's kind of an idea of. Yeah, there you go. I just felt like drawing like a moment I was watching someone um I was watching corpse Carl's Carl Jacobs uh, I think George dream showed up for a bit uh, Tina Brooke sapnap bad boy hello Skippy was that it I think those were the ones I was watching one of their live stream from a couple days not too long ago but uh you're playing um, Jack Box TV, which or Jack TV Box or something like that, um, which I have it, but I haven't really got to play any games. And I was hoping to do something with Twitch and just randomly have people join in. Um, uh, but again, my channels are not gonna be kid friendly. So, but if there's any racist comments, I will block your fucking ass. You can fuck the fuck out to say yeah with me any racist comments anything to do with trump or hitler get the fuck out of my channel just get the fuck out i, I don't need to deal with all your no 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 anyways did i turn it off or it turned off oh you know what i killed it i killed the fire I was like, why is it not smoking? Oh, here comes the third one. Oh, wait, no, I can just turn my hand. I don't have to waste that. I just lit up one of these little sticks again. Lit it up. And I just do it again. Come on, lit it up. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. <laughs> You'll see me start a fire in the freaking video. Oh, for love, oh, that's humanity. I'll leave that there. I'm not supposed to blow on it. It's supposed to be not good luck. But it is what it is. I'm gonna get up, pick it up. That should, that should be good. I'm not going to put anything on it because I don't want it turning it off. Right. Hopefully it's not cold enough that it's like not really blowing this right. Can you see smoke? I'm not gonna heat it up a bit. You cleanse it with the plastic and then without the plastic. Oh, I was hoping to get like have a proper little area when I open this. 
Give it some Just know I am an amateur. I'm still learning. <laughs> Be kind to me if you uh know more than I do. Um because I do have a friend who is full blood witch and uh Upset. <laughs> okay. Just gonna like pull a little trashy in here in a sec. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, beautiful. Everything is out to get cleansed. At least for me, because like, I don't know what to do with cleansing everything. This is just a little paper. But it's going to also get cleansed, I guess. Oh my, oh my god, these are gorgeous! Oh! Is this the booklet? Okay. <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. Look up! Oh my god, these are big. <gasps> They're so, so pretty! Oh, and the first card, Princess, you can be your own knight. What? What? Just alone this picture caught my attention, but then dropping twice on me, and I just kept looking at this picture. You can be your own knight? What? <laughs> I'm excited to look at all the cards and give them a little shake shake. We're going to read them all off um, so I can better understand what we have. Then I'm going to go more into deep on, on this. We'll probably pull a couple cards. Um, I don't know how to go about it, but oh, did I give, 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 give some... Uh, I'm so excited. I'm so, I'm so mm, mm. Again, I bought these at Barnes and Nobles. Just letting you know. I don't know if there's more. <laughs> oh, the oh, excuse me, excuse me. Give me the mm, the back of the book. Holy shit! Oh, this is so cute. Look at the back. The princess, the witch, the mermaid. Hello. Hello. Book. Book. And it's going to have all the information on the cards. And let me go about a little bit together. Together. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, we're going to put that back. Dad. Okay, so we read the first card. The second card, Evil Queen. You deserve sugar, not salt. Okay, okay. Oh, I should show you the cards, right? So, Tower, which by the way, that card pops up on me all the time when Talia reads me. Um, unplug and relax for a spell. Oh, it's oh my god, the art is gorgeous! I fucking love this. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm so excited! The art is so great. Mirror, treat your body like the palace it is. Stop it! So good. So good. Let's see. Five stars. You can manifest your every wish. Why do all these like 
my heart, my God, hello. <laughs> Six dragons slay them all. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, look at like it's kind of a card of like even in like if you have a weakness or something like no 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 honey don't let your weakness defeat you you get them you get them mm, i get it i get it i oh i really gotta pay attention oh sword make the change okay it's like a mulan reference here uh, cutting your hair like changing it up which I'm planning on doing anyways. It's just, just sorry. Uh, wings. The art is fucking phenomenal. What the fuck? You never needed those wings to fly. I just what? I'm I'm mm. Phoenix. How's that for a happily ever after? I'm not sure how to go about that, but again, it, there's more detail on the book, but we're going to show you the cards. I'm reading the cards and I'm showing you the art because why the fuck not? I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, uh, but you know what? This is connecting with you guys. Oh, my, oh this, is so, this is such a pretty card. I want this time. <laughs> Red. Forgive. I feel like these cards are meant for me. Like, really meant for me, guys. I'm just saying, because here's the story. The color red, I'm not a big fan. I I liked it, it once in a while when I was younger. I loved always having a red lip. Always, always. Mm, fabulosa, because my white skin, right? Like, Snow White. I'm all about fairy tales. <laughs> uh, uh, and then I just hated the color red i just didn't want red in my life i just don't want it but somehow it's been trickling here and there like i'm actually gonna be wearing this this is red this is for my costume i bought a couple pieces of bottom shorts and stuff and skirts of red talia's telling me if this is your year if you're the year of the ox you need to be wearing red constant like every day i'm like i didn't know about that I didn't know that was the thing that you had to wear red because oh, this is your year. I didn't know. No one told me <laughs> until I just found out this year. I haven't really wore red today, even. I didn't know I wore red. <laughs> um, so, what did it say again? Forgive. So, I feel like red is just something for me that I guess it's bigger meaning to me. I don't know. Sun. Paint the sun back into your sky. I'm telling you guys, these cards are definitely talking to me. They are talking to me. These are for me. Definitely. Expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. Yes. Yes, yes. I second that. That is gorgeous. Look how beautiful. Again. And while I'm doing this, you know, the, um, the dragon's blood is also cleansing them while I'm like refreshing them, like going one by one. It's probably not going to get to. I might have to lit up a second one. Just it covers up this one. All, all this stuff. Uh, number 13. I didn't even say the numbers. Lioness. You've earned all your stripes. Oh. Ooh la la. This is going to be me <laughs> during the summer. I don't care who says my fat is going to be jiggling everywhere. <laughs> I got, like I said, on Shein, I got myself some new, new uh, bathing suits and they're two pieces. So, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, this is beautiful. Number 14. Thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve. 
Yes. Do, 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 do. Hello. So, so I can have a better understanding. I'm going to take my cards with me, but I need a special, like, little pouchy or something, which I think I do. I just don't know exactly where it is. It's a, and actually, the girl who did a, a readings that I was watching for her, for April and for like the six months from when she first uh, did the video, just not like three weeks ago, and then this one was like a week ago or just a couple of days ago. Um, she had one of my little bags that I, I have. I was like, oh, she has my bag too. Oh, yes. High five. Uh, I, I'm, I can't get enough with all the art. I love art, okay? 15, garden. Something lovely will grow from this. This is my year, guys. I really need to, like, up my game this year. I got to do a lot of changes. I did a big change. I, I mean, I ended my relationship with my boyfriend. But the things that happened and just everything above the year that we've been together, just, like, all in my brain. I've had time to think. And the moment that I just, like, you know what? I think it's time. I think it's time to just end this and then once i did i felt i felt fine i felt refreshed i felt like a, a weight was off my shoulders thomas is great thomas is a, he's he's nothing but good to me but just a lot of things not like they're not they were not big things just small things that just accumulated that just like no no i'm just gonna be honest so 16. <laughs> bitch bitch fire stand up for yourself yes i love that card i love it 17 flower be honest with yourself. Just stand up for yourself. Be honest with yourself. These cards are so meant for me. Yes, 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 yes. Tree. Let them go. What was I just talking about? 19. Lavender. Special card for lavender. Surround yourself with love. It's lavender here, lavender there, hey, lavender everywhere. And even in the wedding, we're gonna have lavender. Love is in the air. Is spring hello? Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Number twenty. She puts us a little frame that says, "I am always enough." Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth, which is a little difficult for me, honestly. Yeah. 21, Clover, release your guilt. Hmm. These are so cute. Uh, 22. Library. Take control of your own narrative. Don't let others tell you what to say. Just decide. No. You have that control. No one else does. 23. Confidence. It comes with time and practice. That it do. That it do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This uh, girl has a shirt that says basic witch. And do. Potion. Remember to practice self-love. And kind of like something like that without reading the book or anything like that. Because again, that's that's a whole thing that I'm going to have to do that on my own. I'm probably going to do that after this. Um, it's, you know, do little things every day. and Every day. Something small. Like just a 30 minute thing. Whatever that you love. Get a book, start reading for 30 minutes. You can read, do that for yourself for 30 minutes to relax your mind. 
you know, do something a little different, you know? And me, I'm trying to do a few little things. I'm trying to, you know, it's starting to get a little warmer. It's not, winter is gone. Spring is here. It's going to start getting hotter and hotter because it's spring to start it. It's here. It's everywhere. And as the next Sabbath, which is, um, Beltane, um, or May Day, which is the 1st of May, um, it's literally like the prepping of summer and it's a fire festival and it's, it's, it's passion. It's more new life, more new growth because, you know, the seasons change and all this other new stuff is going to start happening. The seasonal stuff, the seasonal flowers and foods and all that mm, abundance. Mm, mm, mm. I'm excited. I'm excited. And I, I'm, I'm so excited to learn and just make it my own, you know, and I feel like this was the route that I needed to take to kind of find myself of who I am exactly. And I'm going to get emotional, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to shut up right now because, mm. <laughs> yeah, number 25, mural, be your own first priority. Go, if it comes to my nieces, uh, 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 uh. I am third priority. My nieces are my, my life. Bella in, is an especially because she saved my life for existing. That kid did not exist, I wouldn't be here. I would have let my sorrows eat me away and destroy me. Uh, number 26, feather. Think first before you judge. Always. Always. I always have my intuition. Like there was this one coworker that supposed to had started towards the end of last year, right? And something about him, you know, I don't want to judge a, a person or anything, but I have like the sense if I'm going to get along with someone or not. And just his presence was wording me out it was making me very uncomfortable and then he made some unnecessary comments on how he spoke to my co-worker Carla and Carla didn't like put too much mind to it or whatever but I was like if I'm getting red flags now and I, I even told her this one he ain't gonna last long well it didn't last long. I don't even know how long it was. Uh, maybe a month or something like that. And he came to work one day and then left. Like midday or something. I think he just like didn't even give his two week notice. He just quit. In the middle of like the busiest time at our work job. And um, what the fuck? Are you serious? Like, I knew it. 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 Always trust your intuition. If something is pulling at your noggin, there's a little red flag wagging it around, or at least a caution yellow flag, listen to it. Number 27. Which justice is coming. And, uh... Might need to start a new dragon blood because that one is dying out. So we're gonna put these down and we're gonna collapse this one. Ooh. It's still there a little bit, but I'm gonna start another one. And I know where to buy these, so... And I have a bunch, so... I went stress shopping that week I broke off with Thomas. And uh, it was great. Great stress shopping, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I went shopping with my friend, my bestie, eldest sister from another mother, uh, Erica. And, um, and I think I can light it up this way. Let it picked up a little bit. And then my 
friend Talia, her roommate, our witchy friend, our actual witch witch friend, she's done this more for so long, for a lot of years. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. There's a second one, and we're gonna, we're gonna need, oh, that is warm. Do not cook my book, please. Please, please, uh, please. Maybe, maybe, maybe in here. This is, oh, this is hot. Oh, is my book hot? Hey, a little bit, a little bit, it's fine. <laughs> There you go. It's fine. Let's continue with the rest of the cards. We're halfway there, guys. So which? Uh, Justin, justice is coming. Cleaning my fingers because I don't want to smudge it. And again, art. Did I show you the other one? I, I did show you feather, right? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Um... Next card is number 28, Protest, Start a Revolution. Love that card. That is amazing. When did they make this? Is my question. Do they have a year? Oh, no, that's the wrong side. Maybe. I don't know when this was made. It might be on the book, but I'll check in a sec if I remember. Oh. Uh, number 29, feast. Slow down and celebrate yourself. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. See, for me, like, I am a foodie, okay? And me eating, yes. It's so habit. It's, it's, it has two, two sides of it. Because I am a foodie. I do enjoy my food. I love the pleasure of food. But the downside of it is when I am stressed and my anxiety is up like the roof, like it's past beyond like returning, like I need time, like I need to take away this whatever is happening. I stress eat, which unfortunately gives me this muffin talk. So <laughs> one of the things I know I gotta do for myself and it's the most Hardest thing ever for myself is moving. I told myself last year, you got to move. You got to lose that weight. And I, I did it. Well, I was going to, but the stupid pandemic happened. But I know, I know, I know, I know what you're going to say. Don't blame the pandemic. I do blame part of the pandemic because I was going to go out every week and wander off and even take the trolley and all that stuff. I was going to do a lot of things last year, but the pandemic said no. The moment Gabby wants to explore, adventure out, shit happens. I'm sorry, sorry. Just, yeah. you notice that I got really 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 upset and the smoke got more and more castle number 30 it's time for healing not war I'm trying <laughs> I have a moment I have my moments guys I have my moments I'm more a little water break I'm almost I'm about 12 more cards and then we can give them a good shake up. And we can pull up a card. Um for myself for today. I'm going to try to remember to do a card every day. So, <sighs> I 
Okay. Second, third wind. <laughs> so number 31. Very beautiful. I want those nails. What the fuck? Mm. Universe. Alabama uh, sea universo. We're all just stardust. I love that. Can I take that? Can I put that like on my on my Instagram and my Facebook? Like, can I? Mm? We're all stardust. Yes. I second that. Uh, number thirty-two is escapist. Escapist, come home to yourself. I'm most home when I am working on things on the computer. Not just so long. Like if I listen to music or. I'm watching something while well, I'm working on something here manually, like drawing um, or writing things or like coming up with some ideas um, on a cosplay or whatever. That's just my happy moments. Those are my like, I need to calm down. I need to grab. That's my grounding, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but now that I have my plant babies, uh, I want to take care of I want to have that responsibility. Yes, I have my cats, which <laughs> I feel like plants are so much better than animals honestly because you don't have to take them to the vet or anything you just buy certain soils and uh, and, and plant food and stuff and just and you know give it the proper water intake and in and, and the sunlight if it needs it or whatever you know i told myself knock on wood um after my pets passings I don't know if I can get another animal honestly I think that's just so much responsibility and I, I just like I love them but I think I, I just need more of my life to be more in control me having my life more in control for myself where then I can have a pet and take care of it more <laughs> and giving it the time and attention it deserves I give them time but I don't give them all because I am taking care of so many other things and it's so hard and I feel like our babies are very sad I mean for the most part the cats seem fine Nova is cute when she wants her food uh Orion comes to me when he wants cuddles or he wants pets but that's and he when he gets it, it's just like, no put put and no hug hug and no crunching and no squish squish and it's like, okay, I'm done. And I must let him go. He just walks off and that's all he wants. And like, um, Nova scratches me a lot. <laughs> no, uh, Orion, don't unless he. I had him in some arm. If I have him in my arms and he got spooked or something, he punctures. He doesn't scratch. He punctures. That hurts worse than a fucking scratch. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, my dogs, uh, Titi, she's family dog, so she's my technically my mom's responsibility. But she's like she's family dog, so everybody's responsible for her. I'm like, mm, not me, no. Uh, now also he's my responsibility, but he doesn't want one thing with me. He wants to stay with Grandpa. He loves Grandpa because he sees Grandpa's twenty four seven. Um, I kind of blame an old ex of mine, um, because I feel like he did mistreat also quite a bit, like, because <sighs> should have kicked his balls. Um, no, he would, like, just, he also is a Bichon Poodle, okay? Um, I know Poodles sometimes are a little snappy or whatever, but I feel like my ex, like, couple exes back okay um was trying to make him like a mean dog to like like protect me or whatever but i didn't ask for that i didn't want that for my dog you know i, I wanted to call him i want i wanted him to be my lap dog i wanted him to be like right here I, you know if he wants to be my guard dog he'll be my guard dog you know um, he'll, he'll understand that owie, 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 and I'll, you know, whatever. We could have taught him like that, but I have, my past, it's a big, it's a big involvement in my life. And I, because of my past, I don't 
want to make those same mistakes now. Correct. It's hard letting go. It's very hard letting go because all that stuff just flows in them. It'll never go away. It'll never disappear. You can let it go if you want to, but it's always going to be there. You'll always remember it, no matter what. So, gonna give it a little bit of uh, dragon blood. Um, I like the fact that I'm going through these cards because then I feel like I, I, I you guys understand a little bit of myself and who I am and like. Oh, okay. This this how's the word um generates with me or is that the word? Uh, number thirty three. Nostalgia. Focus on the here and now. What was I just talking about? What was this about me like talking about the past that like it's so hard to like focus with the stuff here and now because the past is always like coming back to me. Like, you know what? I don't want to make the mistakes now here, but like, forget that. What? What? Number 34. Voyage. Oh. My. This is one of the cards that was pulled out for me. Uh, I think, I don't know if this was in the April or the six months, but the other uh the girl that i was uh watching um because she had four prepped one of the videos was for the april and it was chocolate bunnies with different colors and i chose the blue one and then the other one was like a 80s kind of vibe it had a little toys one I, one was like those little like, hit hair clips and then one was poly pocket the other ones i forgot the other ones were one was like um the little, the, 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 I forget what they're called. I forget the other two, but I picked Polly Pocket because I grew up with that. I just, I love Polly Pocket. I still do. I want to get one. <laughs> um, can I have? Can I collect this again? <laughs> uh, but this card came out for my choice that I picked, and I think it might have been the Polly Pocket one because she did a lot of different uh, cards of 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 of. of oracle decks and stuff and this card came out voyage you already have all the answers that card came out to me i can't believe she has this same deck <laughs> i'm so happy Somehow, I feel like I need to take a picture of this and post it onto my Facebook and everything so I can, like, you know the answers. You know the answers, Gabby. You just need to follow through, bish! Bish! Voyage. Number 34. Number 35. Oh my god this card is gorgeous shark swim away from this situation oh fuck no mm, don't get played don't get played people mm -mm. don't get played ladies men mm -mm. oh my god i love her ah i'm sorry <laughs> i really love this art Number 36, gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. You're already doing that yourself, honey. You, you, you're fine on your own. I know I can be fine on my own. I don't need no man. I, I'm going to be fine. Even if, if, even if my foretold second appears or whatever, I don't know if it exists or not, but if it doesn't happen i'm going to be fine by myself i'm going to make things happen for myself and no one else so mm. <sighs> number 37 gray endings are inevitable in inevitable inevitable i my english <laughs> I get it i get it i get it 
th th this curve right here is like like Thomas and myself. This this curve right here. Number 38, villain. You can always rewrite the story. Hmm. My lips are getting red. Number 39. Oh, I love this. Raindrops. Take a chance on them. We're getting down to the nitty gritty, guys. Number 40. Morning. The world awaits you. Oh, that's pretty. Living under the ocean, waking up under the ocean. That's number 41. Excuse me. Love. Sundress. Do it for you. I love these unique skins, uh, the sizes of the body, the color of the hair, everything, everything about this deck is so fucking amazing. I love, love you, love you, love you, love you. Number 42. I don't know how many cards. I think there's 45. Homeward. Homeward? Take yourself out on a date. And it doesn't have to be with a man or a woman. Take yourself out on a date. Do what you want to do. You want to go and take a stroll? Go take a stroll. You want to go and, and, and write a book? Write a book. Go to the lake. Go somewhere or the beach. Marinate under the sun. Take, you know, leaps. You want to go get yourself, you know, spoil yourself with a, a cup of coffee? And a little bit of a pastry or something, you know. Um, wanna join an art class? Wanna get fit? You do you, boo. You do you. Shoot, can't get enough saying that. And part of my English, cause my English sucks. Number forty-three, spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. Mm. Never, but. I am afraid when I do sing, cause I don't know the lyrics. And I'm so good at <laughs> my brain, <laughs> but I still hum it. Like if I recognize the the, the beat, I will. Da, 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 this is how I sing. Number forty four, storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. I really love this text so much, and I believe this is the last one. Ooh, it has all three. It has the princess, the witch, and the mermaid. Throne. Your my English. Throne. Your potential is endless. Yes. 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 And we're back to one, I believe. Yes. And we're back to one, which is princess. You can be your own knight. Was there? There. There was. Was. There was a princess, there was a witch. Was there a mermaid? I don't... Okay, I need to make sure there was an actual mermaid. Because I'm not... I'm like... Mm, shouldn't there be a mermaid in here? Beach fire. That was hilarious. Flower, tree, lavender, lighthouse, clover, confidence... Ocean, which was more like a witchy thing kind of thing, mural, feather. There's the witch for her. Princess and witch. And protest fees, castle, universe, escapist, nostalgia, voyage, shark. Would that be closer to the mermaid? Um, gray, villain, rangers. Because there's not one that says mermaid, which... I would have thought would be one that said mermaid. Homeward, spaceship, storm. No. I am a little shook on that one. All right. So we're hitting the hour. I'm just going to, you know, 
it's going to take me some practice uh, to uh, shake these and mold them to me, to my hands. I've been told I do not shuffle very well, so this is going to be, it's going to be a while, like, before I, like, pull out the first card. Let's give it, let the hour pass, so let's go with an hour, when it hits the hour, and maybe, what, hour and ten? So, hour and ten. Because I want to make sure I'm shuffling very well. Giving it good shaky shaky. Maybe to the hour. And then we can. No. Uh, you know we'll just give it the hour. And we'll pull a card for myself. Just for. For the day. Um, so. Um, or let's see, maybe to whom, to any of my subscribers, we'll pull one for my subscribers, like, um, or I don't know, um, how do I, how would I go about this? Like, again, I'm new to this, or, you know what, we're going to pull one for myself at the hour and 10, right? I can't believe I spent like two hours just chatting it about. I had like no energy or anything, and now it's like these cards got me excited. I don't know if it's also the dragon's blood that just got me a little energized. Like, hello. I also have to prep for the full moon tonight because full moon, people, full moon. Um, obviously you're going to get two videos today, uh, they're going to take a while to upload, so you're probably watching this later tonight, uh, hopefully before the full moon, uh, for any witchy friends, hello. I'm not done, just trying to get myself situated, get the feeling with my cards, get, you know, feel my cards, mold them to my hands. Done yet, sir, madam, madam. I'm getting very careful when I'm shuffling, especially like I forget that the, they're this massive for cards. I'm like, oh my god, how am I supposed to shuffle? Like I have itty bitty hands. It's gonna be a workout on my hands. I already do <laughs> work at work. Um, sorry, I got quiet. Um, so let me know, um, if this interested you, this got you curiosity, uh, you know, peaked or something, or um, which one was your favorite card in the, in, in the deck? Uh, which one did you feel more connected to? Uh, please let me know. I would like your, you know, your knowing of cards. Um, knowing of your thoughts or, sorry, not cards. See my English, man. Um, so, I'm going to try to pull a card every time I do a rant video. Um, or probably any other video I'm going to try to remember to do that. Um, just... You know, so we can all learn together and uh, let's see what's the card for today for everyone. Let's let's say for everyone, okay? Like, what do we need for today? What's today's special card? You know, we, we all need a little bit of guidance, you know? Again, I am a wee baby child, baby witch. I'm still, like, this is my first time. You saw me opening it and getting my hands dirty some sense I you know I think that uh my 
blood, dragon's blood finished. I'm going to put a third and a final one. Uh, the hour already hit, but we're going to put, that's to have a little bit, but I'm going to let that, oop, oop, don't you dare. So we're going to put one more for this last few minutes. Um... Burn my finger. Thank you. Did it work? I did not know. I think someone texted me, but I'm not going to look at my phone right now. My lips are really dry. We're going to shake that more, so no worries. Should we pick three cards instead? Like the first three cards? So we still got like nine minutes or eight minutes to mix all these cards and then from there we're just going to um you know Dragon's blood. Oh my god, that's something in my eye. Basura. That's what I think. Basura in los ojos. Thank you. Beautiful cards. Beautiful cards. Aren't they so cute? Oh my god. I, I can't get enough with these cards. They're beautiful. And obviously, I'm just going to like practice and practice, practice with them um, behind the scenes in some sense. Uh, you won't see that, but that's going to be on my own downtime. Oop, oop, already something came out. Oh, shit. Oh, really wants to come out. Okay. How about we use this one as the first one? Okay, let's, let's, because it came out and it like, it went out there. So I've learned. If it came out, it was for a freaking reason. If it real, I like, just do not want you to pick that card up, like, you know, like spit out. I mean, oh, no, it wants to be read. <laughs> it wants to be read. It wants to be read. Okay. And you'll be the first card. I gotta make sure, though, that I do it in the order. And then. these cards get loosened up we still got about six minutes maybe if I do it like this maybe it'll be easier since my hands are so freaking small maybe <laughs> maybe I'm just like I feel like I can't do that way. Oh. Like what's the right way to like shuffle? You know, it's like I don't know what's the. What, is there any other way? Honestly, it's just like you just go really quick and just shuffle. You're gonna be fine. Like, yeah, again. You wasted practically 15 minutes shuffling your cards and talking nonsense. Yeah, I did. 
this is a new deck and I need to make sure it's well shuffled. One already just spit out, so it's fine. It's like, oh, read me, read me. So I'm going to read the three chosen cards and, um, and, um, I'll do a little homework for you guys. Which one resonates more for you? Like, if you feel like it just like whoosh, smacking on the face, like, how oh, rude this first step, You know, kind of like that feeling. That's your card. <laughs> just saying. Honestly, a lot of these cards, I felt like that today. It's like, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> this, this deck was really made for me. I swear to God, if I get the tower, mm, we know the issues. Uh, you know, I don't even know the issues. But the tower always seems to pop up for me. Always. I don't know how. You're seeing me shuffle. I'm not peeking or anything. Or not down and not food. I got about four more minutes. And oh my God, my hair is cramping. Thank you. This is going to be a workout for my poor little beautiful hands. My itty bitty hands. Let's go, little fiesta. Little fiesta. Well, I don't know, like, just a little guidance for you guys, you know, like, which one resonates more for you? Like, whatever you're dealing with today, today, uh, um, we can do that every day, or we can do a specific day. I mean, I could do a video of this, doing this, like, for the, like, like, start up in, like, the first five minutes or ten minutes, just me shuffling and just talking about what went on with my day and whatever, and then pull out the first three, and then whichever resonates with you guys, you know, let me know. In the, you know, again, I'm just a noob. I am a baby witch. I don't know better. You don't have to believe it. If it just intrigues you, and, and you know, you can just talk. I wish the live stream thing was working, because then we could have done it that way. But the camera's like, no, no. We're not working. Okay. Like, I already have issues enough with my PC. Oh. oh, one came out. One came out. Oh, two came out. So I was going to pick three, but two came out. That's going to be together. I think I'm going to put those two together. And I'm searching for the third one. So two like I don't know one spew and this thing no it came out to be two cards I'm like hello what so we're down in the last two minutes see I wasn't even paying attention and I was just like you know chilling and vibing and talking with you guys and shuffling these beautiful cards. Because, again, I would have to shuffle them again and again and again. Um, so, once we're done, okay, down to the last minute. Let's see if anything comes out. If it doesn't, when the minute ends, that means there's no other card that was meant to come out. So... Thirty seconds. Oh no, sorry. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> My math sucks. The simple as a math, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, I think about sixteen seconds more. Oh. That's it. That was the third card. 
nothing spewed out. So that was actually the third card, guys. So we're going to learn together. All right. So in the order like this, it came out. So let me move my phone. Oh my God. Let me move my phone. And I'm going to move my candle a little bit so I have space for. Her. Okay. First card, number 20. I am always enough. Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. We'll go more into details when we read all three cards and we'll see which ones, um, you know, resonates with you today. Number five, stars. You can manifest your every wish. And the last one, Phoenix. How's that for a happily ever after? I still don't really get to understand this, but we're going to read each an individual card. So let's go with the order. Let's get a little booklet and go with number 20. Number 20. No reverse meanings. Okay. Uh, number 20. Lighthouse. Don't doubt your worth. There will always be someone in your life who doubts the amazing things you're capable of. It is then that you must decide to be your biggest champion. Believe wholeheartedly in your own worth, regardless of outside opinion. Feed yourself a steady diet that speaks to self-love, self-kindness, and self-confidence. This might be my card, this FY, but well, for me, at least. But I haven't read the other two cards. So, so far, that's what it is. If you want to go back and listen to what I said. If I'm not clear, please let me know. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, so, so, you know, practically don't let others, you know, um, uh, don't let others make you doubt of who you are. You, you know, concentrate on yourself. You are worth it. You do you, honey. And you just say bye-bye, Felicia, to the negatives, okay? Uh, number five. Stars. You can manifest your every wish. It's time for you to take your goals and turn them into your reality. Create that dream board. Wish on those shooting stars. Write in a daily manifestation journal. Cast a small or large spell. The universe is waiting to give you exactly what you deserve, given that it's best for everyone involved. Keep in mind that you also need to believe that you deserve it. Very similar to 20, to Lighthouse. These two are really talking about your self-worth. That you are, you you should value yourself so much more. That you are more than anybody says otherwise. And anybody else who says otherwise can go fuck themselves. Honestly. You don't need that negative Nancy in your life. No. No, 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 no. Number nine. This is the one that I am a little... I'm a little confused, honestly. <clears throat> Phoenix. How's that for a happily ever after? No matter how hopeless you may be feeling at this moment, know this. You can and will survive whatever trials you've been put through. From the ashes of the past, you shall create a storybook ending filled with beauty and resilience. All future flames will cower when they hear the whispering of your name. Oh, it's okay. So these three are not far from each other, honestly. So for the people, I'm practically one of them that because I honestly don't feel 
sometimes a good percentage of them that I'm not worth anything, that I'm just a failure in general. And I know there's a lot of people that feel that way, but I am trying to change that because I want to love myself. I have this tattoo to keep reminding myself to love yourself, to move on, to move forward, to persevere. You can fucking do this. You just have to have that confidence, that that uh, push, that drive to get what you want in life. You can do this. You can do it. You can manifest your every wish. Okay? Okay? So, by doing so, you know, how it said, um, but it says here again, all future flames will cower when they hear the whispering of your name. Like, you'll, you'll be getting all that bullshit of ash and you're gonna shoot up like a phoenix, basically, you know, you're going to to do this you're going to succeed and you're going to show everybody that they were wrong and that you did it because you gave worth to yourself do you do you, do you understand do, I, do you understand what i'm talking about so there you go it's my first reading um but you know this is something for everyone and that they feel if they feel a little, um, you know, like they're not worth anything, that that they have people in their lives that, oh, you're not going to uh, be enough in the future, or like just putting you down, like you need to show them that you you can and you will, you will, you will get every wish. You're going to succeed and you're going to show them. It's going to. Happen. And I have to believe that for myself too. That whatever is coming to me, that I have to manifest it, that I have to take action. We all need to take action to succeed in life, to move forward. And, you know, da da da. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, again, I'm new to this. I'm going to be. Doing a lot of readings here and there uh, until this whole computer situation is dealt with. So let's mix these girls up. Uh, excuse me. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed my first reading. I really want to take these with me everywhere I go so they have more of a connection with me uh, that's what I've heard so I'm very happy for this uh, deck I love the art the illustrations on it the, the the wordings the meanings I mean I've only read three of them but I'm I don't think I'm going to read them all of them um, but with due time, I want to, like, when I practice with them, like, if I want to ask it a question or something, or, and I want to answer, I can always, uh, you know, read what the means are separately, just so I can have a better understanding to it, so, yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. That is my, my deck. And I am going to give it the last bit of dragon blood. Collect that in there. Place that in there. And then seal it. And bada boom, bada boom. It's closed. And, and now it is fully protected. Dead. until next time I use it when I don't know <laughs> so for now it's there I've opened it we've gone through every card we did a little bit of a reading a little bit of guidance and stuff 
So I hope you guys enjoyed my video, uh, these two long ass rat videos, but I hope you enjoy every moment, minute of it. Oh my god, my eyes, <laughs> they're drooping. Um, and yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my rent video. Um, if anything you enjoyed or you want me to do, if I have to postpone any reactions, let me know down in the comments down below if any of this stuff interested you. Again, I'm very new at the whole witch thing. I am just a wee beb. And, um, but if you are a witch as well, let's be friends. <laughs> and, uh, you know, let's teach each other or whatnot. Um, also, it's not just also witch stuff. I love anime and mangas and figures and collecting things and clothes not so much makeup but i do love makeup um i love shopping i love going thrift shopping i have so many things i like at correction love <laughs> uh so i want to share that with you i want to connect a lot with you i know my videos are very raw they're very just like everywhere it's just messy. It's not perfect or anything. But you know what? I'm not like other people. So, yeah. Uh, but, yes, down the road, I'm going to get a new PC. A new laptop. No, that's like maybe next year. <laughs> laptop is next year. Just so I have for myself. To travel around with or whatever. If I, for any reason, I got an idea and I got to write it down before I work on my work work. Um, but like I said... New PC, new monitor, new mouse, new keyboard, new speakers, new microphone, new camera, everything new and that it holds good on game because I want to play my Minecraft. I want to start up my Twitch thing because I do have a Twitch. I just haven't posted anything because I'm not that great. So uh, either starting sometime in May or June, I'm going to start looking into getting a new everything getting it all set up also getting a new desk uh and uh barricading myself more and more in this room until my sister and brother and one of the girls move out and i can finally turn this into office workspace in the other room my actual bedroom yeah so or that my office room space but it's much darker compared to here so there's a lot of planning of i must do <laughs> i really love these bookcases so a lot of these i might rebuy for the other room and uh i'm not repainting the walls like i said uh and just you know have a working bathroom i'll have that small closet in the other in the master bedroom and i have this massive closet so i have abundance of closet space so, I'm happy. I'm so happy. Um, I'm probably going to ha keep a lot of my clothes here. A lot of the ones with bins in them or whatever. Because I won't have to worry about my cats climbing on top of those and putting a lot of fur on my clothes. So, for the most part, a lot of the stuff that's going to be in the closet is going to be like short that the cats can't reach. So, everything on the bottom is going to be empty. Unless I have something for shoe, for shoes or, or whatever for that closet. But again, that's a whole, like, way, way into the future. But we'll talk more into it and see if anything else changes or whatever. Uh, I don't know when I'll do another rant video. Hopefully sometime soon. If not, in the next two weeks or after the wedding. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I'm going to try to squeeze one before the wedding. And then, uh, if not, I'll see you after the wedding. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, feel free to su subscribe down below in the little red box. Hit the like button and hit that bell to get notified when I upload these kind of videos. If you're new to my channel, make oh um sorry, make sure to always check that you're subscribed because YouTube has a tendency to unsubscribe you, which with that I say mm, disrespectful. Enough said, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright? Smooches. I love you, my smooches. Bye-bye.